प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गिराधर श्री वासदी गौर भक्त वृंद की जय जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंद राधा कुंद गिरी गोवर्धन की जय श्री वृंदावन धाम की जय श्री मायापुर धाम की जय श्री जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जय गंगा माई की जय यमुना माई की जय भक्ति देवी की जय वृंद देवी तुलसी महारानी की जय सामवेत भक्त वृंद की जय निराय गोर प्रेम नंदे ऑल ग्लोरी स्टूडी असेंबल्ड डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी स्टूडी असेंबल्ड डिवोटीज All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to Sri Sri Guru and Gorango. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. So this Sunday evening we will discuss from Bhagavad Gita chapter three Karma Yoga uh, text number nineteen. Tasmad Asakta Satatam Karyam Karma Samachara Asakto E Acharan Karma Param Apnoti Purusha Tasma Dasakta Satatam Karyam Karma Samachara Asakto 
असक्तो ही आचरण कर्मा असक्तो ही आचरण कर्मा परमात्मोति पुरुषा परमात्मोति पुरुषा दशमा दशक्ता सततम दशमा दशक्ता सततम कार्यम कर्मा समाचरा कार्यम कर्मा समाचरा असक्तो ही आचरण कर्मा असक्तो ही परमात्मोति पुरुषा परमात्मोति पुरुषा दशमा दशक्ता सततम दशमा दशक्ता सततम कार्यम कर्मा समाचरा कार्यम कर्मा समाचरा असक्तो ही आचरण कर्मा असक्तो ही आचरण कर्मा परमात्मोति पुरुषा परमात्मोति by His Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada. <coughs> Therefore, actually before reading this translation, 17 and 18 I will read the English and then hmm? uh, last Sunday I believe it was text number 16. So 17 and 18 I will read the English translation before coming to today's translation. So text 17 is, But for one who takes pleasure in the self, whose human life is one of self-realization and who is satisfied in the self alone, self only, fully satiated. For him there is no duty. Text 18. A self-realized man has no purpose to fulfill in the discharge of his prescribed duties, nor has he any reason not to perform such work nor has he any need to depend on any other living being. Today's verse, Therefore, 
without being attached to the fruits of activities one should act as a matter of duty for by working without attachment one attains the supreme so purport by shila prabhupad the supreme is the personality of godhead for the devotees and liberation for the impersonalist a person therefore acting for krishna or in krishna consciousness under proper guidance and without attachment to the result of the work is certainly making progress toward the supreme goal of life arjuna is told that he should fight in the battle of kurukshetra for the interest of krishna because krishna wanted him to fight to be a good man or a non violent man is a personal attachment but to act on behalf of the supreme is to act without attachment for the result that is the perfect action of the highest degree recommended by the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna vedic rituals like prescribed sacrifices are performed for purification of impious activities that were performed in the field of sense gratification but action in krishna consciousness is transcendental to the reactions of good or good or evil work a krishna conscious person has no attachment for the result but acts on behalf of krishna alone he engages in all kinds of activities but is completely non attached om agyana timirandhasya gyana jana shalakaya चक्षुरुन मिलिता तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभिस्था स्थाता भूतले स्वायां रूपता ददाति स्वादाति वंदेहां श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापकमल श्रीगुरो वैष्णवांश श्रीरूपा सागर जाता सागन रघुनाथा पिता सजीवा सर्वैता सवधूता पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यवां श्रीराधाकृष्ण पाद सागन ललिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीना बंधु जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका राधा का नमस्ते सप्तकांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषा भानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि वंचा कल्पतरुव्या कृपा सिंधुव्य पतिता वाहनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैताधर श्रीवास गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण थैंक यू वेरी मच all the wonderful community of devotees of this bhakti sadhan actually it is a pleasure coming here with my all of you all a source of great inspiration for all devotees in bangalore you are doing your various services very nicely and already i can see in prabhupad book marathon all nice posters everywhere and on the way when kripa moy prabhu was driving me he already told me groups have been divided as per the temples correct which is one particular group you know like how is it working out is it making already made one more by can we got to see like that so this is very dynamic so it's wonderful and uh, this chapter entitled karma yoga karma yoga krishna is speaking to arjuna this is actually in those days it's it, it is a revolutionary concept the understanding of self realization the understanding of spiritual life means someone 
you know, detaches himself completely from all sorts of duties, goes to the mountains, goes to the forest, hmm, and engages himself in tapasya, becomes enlightened. In other words, spiritual life is something that is not associated with karma. It's highly internal. That, that is the understanding in the previous times. So when Krishna came and he explained how war, an activity like war can be devotional service. Who thought of that? Where is going to mountain? And where is remaining in a horrible, terrible, ferocious war? And attaining param apnoti. Cool thing. War will get me param apnoti. This is unthinkable. But Krishna explains this point. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains the art of, you know, one can continue one's work and attain the supreme perfection. Hmm? In this chapter, very Krishna is the supremely perfect teacher. When Krishna teaches something is and we study it very carefully with dedicated intelligence, we can pick up so many wonderful things Krishna is telling. Krishna in this chapter is telling by nature, very nature, the soul is always active. The green light is always on. From the time, you know, we are in the mother's womb till we die, the heart is always beating. This one organ is constantly functioning. But the soul is even more than that. Soul is beating from time immemorial and will it stop beating at death? No, it will con con continue. It will continue its. Hmm? Because the soul is part and parcel of the supremely most active personality of God. And Krishna is supremely active and being his part and parcel, we are also active as souls. So ontologically I am an active person. I cannot stop doing. No question that I am not be literally karma means activity. No question of not being in a non-karmic situation. Then on the other hand, when the soul enters into a material body, as soon as you enter into a material body, you come under the influence of the three gunas, material prakriti. Prakriti means it has three divisions. The three gunas are constantly active and making us do. The very fact that we are busy, 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 hmm? from sun up to sundown, everybody is busy, busy, is the three modes. Three modes are making us. They are three, what you call, mystical ropes that keep pulling us, pushing us, pulling us, making us move in all directions. So there is no question of not being active. We have to be active. Then Krishna goes on to tell, action, by performing action for Vishnu, yagyathat karma no anyata. Do your, do your, if you do your activities for Krishna, for a Supreme Lord, then the action you are doing, mukta sangha, samacharita, that activity you perform will liberate you. An action that is performed for your own sense gratification, that will carry on, that will keep you spinning. And you know what the three modes do actually, they keep you, they keep you actually on a roller coaster ride. One chakram, they keep you going, 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 going on and on and on and on. Round and round and round and round and round and round. Three modes we keep. So, Krishna is making this point. We are active, we have to do something. Simple example, we have to eat. You eat the wrong food, you fall sick. You eat the right nutritious food, you become healthy and... Uh, right? So many wonderful things you can do. In the same way with action. You can either get liberated or you can get further bound to the cycle, to the samsara. Hmm? And Krishna also explains, you know, Prabhupada in one of the purports in the early verses, 
I'm ask, I'll ask you this question. What exactly, what is the point Prabhupada is making, Krishna is making, Prabhupada is elaborating, when he says, it is better to be a sincere sweeper in the street. You remember that? In the purport it is there. 3, 6 or 3, 7. You open the purport, you see. Here the text number, text number 7 I believe. Towards the last sentence, last or second last sentence. Got it? Is it number 7? What is it said? Last sentence or second last sentence? Last sentence. What do you tell please? A sincere sweeper in the street is far better than the charlatan meditator who meditates only for the sake of making a living. Hmm. Hmm. So what is the point being conveyed here? Say one takes a decision, I will stop all karma, all activities, right? And I will become what the Prabhupada also used the word, show bottle spiritualist. Show bottle, fake, bogus, a bogus spiritualist, right? People externally for some time people will think that I am a great spiritualist. I am in deep meditation. Internally something amazing is happening. But internally what is happening, I am simply meditating on sense objects, on sense gratification. So that is a charlatan, false, fake, bogus meditator. Wrong. Hmm? So better than that is to be a just a, just an ordinary, you know, the BBMP, <laughs> cleaning the road. Just do that sincerely, earn your living in an honest manner and you are doing a great service, cleaning the road. Hmm? That is better than just by doing that you will not get liberation but you will not go to hell for just trying to cheat the public hmm? better if a person is having some illness it is better not to go to a doctor than go to a quack right you go to a quack a fake doctor he will kill you instantly <laughs> prescribing some wrong drug or something like that. So better you suffer and <laughs> hopefully you know, the body itself will heal, heal like that out there. So these are some of the points Krishna is making out here. Hmm? The art of working. Don't be... You got to work. Everyone has to work in his own capacity. Hmm? If, you, uh, if you... If you don't work, that, 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 that is unnatural. From the soul point of view, from the three modes point of view, it is just not possible out there. So this is the and how exactly this is this is where the yoga part, karma part is clear. We have to work. We have to do something. In in uh, in previous in the previous times when uh, you know we can we could clearly follow Varnashrama in the previous yugas. What work meant, what karma meant was very clear. As per, as per one's varna and ashrama, one is performing active, one's activity, one's work out there. But today in modern situation, the varna ashrama is it's very much confused. Mostly be, if, 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 as soon as one is employed and taking salary, it means shudra. Correct. That is shudra. Shudra is incapable of being an entrepreneur. <laughs> so we are all glorious Shudras. <laughs> Better too. <laughs> so, <coughs> well, so this is our, you know, but now, now generally, generally doing one's karma, doing one's karma means to be situated in one's career. We can say in a generic way. Whatever a modern city, whatever the modern world, whatever, uh, uh, career we are doing, an honest, decent, socially recognized career we do, that becomes our karma. Hmm? And as taught by, as taught by Srila Prabhupada through his ISKCON movement, we follow, we follow the principles of Krishna consciousness, hmm? then we are okay, then we are protected, we are safe. We just be Krishna conscious enough. In other words, we make Krishna consciousness the main, what you call, our, my main identity. My main identity is I am 
trying my best to be Krishna conscious, not devotee or servant of the servant, I am trying to be. I maintain that identity. Right? Okay. So how is, see, as you know, uh, Bhagavad Gita, it is actually a conversation. Arjuna and Krishna, between master and servant. So how is the, how would you say the Bhagavad this Karma Yoga, how would it be connected with Arjuna's original doubts in chapter 1? Right? In, in chapter 1, Arjuna is, has completely, he has lost his composure. He completely lost his determination to fight. Hmm? And, that, 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 and that big confusion was there in Arjuna. I mean, I, I see, I see no good that is going to come from this work. War is a work. From this work, better I, better I just go to the forest. Better I abandon this war. You know, not do the karma that is supposed. To, I'm supposed to do no karma. I got it. Hmm? This is just going to bring. This is just going to bring not only the ruination to me, but the ruin. The entire society is going to become ruined, going to be destroyed. So to explain that point, that actually work is not like, is not like spiritual life and work is not that these two are incompatible. That is what this chapter is telling. Spiritual life and work, they can go hand in hand. They can go hand in hand. You can be doing your work as per your dharma, what your, your duty as per you, what you are doing and attain the spiritual perfection. Then in these last three verses that we read, the point that is being highlighted is for one, for one who has attained self-realization, already perfected himself, for such a person he doesn't have to work for self-realization. Already has it. You already got what you want. You already become self-realized. You already become perfect. So for that, for becoming perfect, you don't have to work. But again, it is telling there is no reason not to work. Right? In number 18, just see. Nor has he any reason not to perform work. Hmm? It sounds like contradiction. When you are self-realized, when you are self-realized and your work is the means to become self-realized, then you don't have to work. But simultaneously you have to work. Why? This will be made clear in a few verses later. To set an example. To set an example. You are perfect. You don't need to, you don't need to work. But from social point of view, you have to work. Because your actions your actions are going to set the benchmark, going to set the standards for other people, for the for the amateur, for the amateur people, for the newcomers, they are going to learn from you. So you have to set the example. So that's another ground upon which you have to do karma yoga. It is not for yourself, it's for the society, the audience that is viewing you, they're looking up to you. In this regard, perfect example is His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada, as you know, is the Shakti Avesh Avatar. He is the supremely perfect. From his actions, it is very clear. There is no, no duty for him to be performed, to perform. But yet, he was doing everything like anyone else. He was doing everything. To set the example, to set the example. While we are here, regarding Srila Prabhupada's life, Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita. How many have not read Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita? If you have not read Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita, please. This is a, he is someone who is a living example of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. You, you, you got to, you have to read it. Okay, then you will appreciate the Hare Krishna movement and that means you will appreciate what you are doing in the Hare Krishna movement. What is your role if you read the life of Srila Prabhupada? I believe there are some copies here. 
in our DVD. Please, you can, uh, where are they? Prabhupada Lilamrita, out there. This is for you. This is not a book you can so much do on Vaikuntha Ekadasi. Bhagavad Gita and other Ramayana and other. But Prabhupada Lilamrita is not an easy book to. But Prabhupada Lilamrita is for you and me, out there. It should not be here, it should be in your home. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So, here we are. In, uh, in chapter, uh, in, in text number 16, there was one phrase, Pravartitam Chakram. What does Pravartitam Chakram mean? In, in text 16. Evam Pravartitam Chakram. Pravartitam established by the Vedas. And Chakram is a cycle. Krishna is talking about a certain cycle has been established in nature, in the universe. There is a wheel. A cycle also means a, a wheel has been set into motion. A wheel has been set into motion. This, this is the wheel of receiving and giving back. I, Krishna, is giving me so many gifts through Mother Nature. All the basic necessities of life, the air that I breathe, the sunshine, the earth, the water, you know, the basic, the basic elements for my survival, Krishna is giving me as a gift. Through his agencies, the demigods, the rain, I need rain. Where does so much rain come from? Can I place order? Can I buy rain? I don't have water, I can may buy, I can buy one tanker of water. For entire rain can I buy? No. These are coming to be free from Krishna by via the demigods. In that manner, we can list, we can list many items, many items that I am receiving hmm, from Krishna. And just out of plain uh, gratitude, plain gratitude, I you know the, the one 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 half of the wheel is come. Is, is spinning, then I have to send back, I have to send back. So what do I send back? What do I send back? Yajna, sacrifice, right? This was the Vedic program, sacrifices, everybody performs sacrifice, everybody performs. The word, the word dana, charity, dana means from Someone junior to me, I give down. And someone senior to me, I perform Yajna. Got the difference? Dana down and Yajna, upward direction. So I have to perform Yajna. Hmm? And of course, in the purport, in that Bhakti Vedanta purport, Srila Prabhupada explains that the Lord Himself, Krishna, Himself came as Lord Chaitanya to teach us the yajna for hmm, the yajna for the modern age, hmm, which is the Sankirtan yajna. Sankirtan Sankirtan yajna. The very word Kirtan means glorify, and Sankirtan means together as a as a group, as a community, as a society. Together we glorify, and what are the ways of glorifying? How can we glorify? What do we do to glorify? We chant His holy name. We chant His holy name. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. That's the primary activity of the Hare Krishna movement. Sankirtan. Hare Nam Sankirtan. How else do we glorify? Distributing books. Distributing the mercy in the form of prasad. The very word prasad means mercy, mercy right? 
That's glorification. In other words, all the activities, all the core activities of Krishna consciousness are sankirtan. All the core activities are sankirtan. Glori glorification. So, as a society, we are glorifying Krishna. So here the connection is, see, the, the, the karma yoga, the wheel has to be kept rotating. And we keep the wheel rotating by Sankirtan. Got the connection? How Srila Prabhupada so brilliantly, Srila Prabhupada so amazingly, the technical, the technical, what is karma yoga and Sankirtan, how he has made the connection. How Prabhupada has explained the point. So we don't have to, in, in, in the, in the, Rigid, in the rigid Vedic sense, we don't have to do karma yoga. You understand the point? As for the, you know, the technical rules and rituals, we don't have to do it. We have simply have to be engaged in sankirtan. We have to be engaged in sankirtan yagya. When we are all the bhakti diksha program, that's sankirtan yagya. So when we are doing sankirtan, we are keeping the. The chakram, the wheel, we are keeping the wheel in motion. And that verse, if you don't keep the wheel in motion, you know what happens? What will happen? Read. Can someone read the translation of 16 please? Do you read the translation? Please go ahead. Read the, read, read the whole entire, number 16. <coughs> One who does not follow the human life, the cycle of sacrifice, thus established by the Vedas, certainly lives a life full of sin. Living only for a satisfaction of the senses, such a person lives in death. So, the Sanskrit word used is agha. Agha. Agha means sinful. Where else have we heard the word agha? Agha sura. The sin, the sin demon. Or also offense. Agha also means offense. One's life is offense. One's life is sinful. If one is not keeping the the wheel in rotation, hmm, that wheel we are receiving, we have to give. Like that. So this chakra, you know, the chakra of Krishna consciousness has to be followed. That is that is our that our practical meaning of Krishna consciousness out there. Particularly coming to the points made in uh, today's text number 19, there's one particular word which is appearing two times. Krishna is telling it two times, it's important. You see, you see on the board which word is coming? So that's coming two times, and another word is coming two times. Karma, okay. Karma point, we have already. Karma, you have got to do, everybody's got to do karma. That point is. Asakto, which means, which means detachment, unattached, hmm? in an unattached manner. Hmm? The karma part is clear. Whoever we may be, devotee, non-devotee, karma is karma. If I am non-devotee, it's three modes who are going to push me and do, make me do karma. If I am devotee, then my karma becomes, my activity becomes Krishna, Krishna karma, Krishna. Prabhupada uses the word Krishna to do Krishna karma, to do work for Krishna out there. By the way, it's interesting, the word karma, I, I, I never studied Sanskrit, but I'm sure there are devotees here who have studied Sanskrit. Raise your hand please. Some children, they have Sanskrit, huh? you, you, you also know. Study in school or something? Till 10. Yourself Prabhu? Till 10. I did not study. <laughs> How come you didn't study? Sanskrit? Tamil you study. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, this uh, Sanskrit words have dhatu. The root, right? It's an organic. The, the word comes from a dhatu. So the, so, the word karma comes from kri. The word kri. And interestingly, we were talking today, Kripamai Prabhu and I, we had a good opportunity. We were interviewed by uh, Chris and Eva. Can I stand in my mother? 
you saw them in the temple, Chris and Eva, nice. Young two young German uh, citizens who were visiting India and they were asking us questions about uh, Hare Krishna movement and Bhagavad Gita and some basics out there. So there we were explaining to them uh, the word Kri. In English, you have the word creation. It's same. Create. To, to create some work. Karma, Kri, the same. And then also interestingly, you have the words in English. Increase, decrease. Create more, create less. <laughs> so actually, may, may many, many of this... Uh, European languages, many of the words are having base, having base in uh, Sanskrit. They're having base in Sanskrit. Another word I was telling Kripa Mahat Prabhu, there is a way, in Sanskrit you have the word Sama, which is also any in Hindi, any, any Indian language, it's a common word. Sama means equal. From Sama, a little bit, little bit of a twist you put, you get this prefix homo, homogeneous. Right? In chemistry you have the word homogeneous, sameness, right? the same. like that. You, you have these, uh, many of these words coming from our Devanagari, Greek, from Sanskrit, out there. So this uh, karma, eh, you have to work, but in the spirit of Ashakta. This we have to learn. This actually, work part is anyway we have to do. But this Ashakta part is the training that is required. Without and Prabhupada explain what exactly we don't have to break our head. What is this working without attachment? What exactly it means? I will again uh, read this out. See, a person therefore acting for Krishna, acting for Krishna, that is the ashakta, acting for Krishna or in Krishna consciousness under proper guidance and without attachment to the result of the work is certainly making progress towards the supreme goal. Hmm? See, to be a good man or a non-violent man is a personal attachment. But to act on behalf of the supreme, but to act on the behalf of the supreme is to act without attachment for the result. That's that's what it means. Very interesting. In our Krishna consciousness, anything negative, there, there is a positive counterpart. You notice if you study, if you study our, you know, concepts, everything. We, if we are told not to do this, there's always a positive counter. Even in, even in when even some adjectives or some names that are applied to Krishna, from material point is negative, but there is a spiritual positive. For example, if I say, if I say the supreme is Arupa, what does that mean? A rupa, he is. Uh, that's that's the material point of view. Now, positively, what does that mean? No material form, but beautiful spiritual form. That is arupa. No form in the material world is like Krishna's form. Nirguna, no qualities. Are what kind of god? No qualities. Okay, let's go home. Why we are? <laughs> Why we are? <laughs> no qualities. Now, what does it mean? Ah, no material qualities, but ocean of ocean of spiritual. Got it? That way. Anything negative, there is a positive. Okay. To just to give a common sense example, I say, I go to a shop, uh, some painting. This painting is priceless. Literally, what does it mean? No, literally, literally. Uh, no, no. Me. <laughs> no, zero, zero rupees. <laughs> Priceless. Literal meaning. Eggless cake. Huh? Eggless cake. Wait, well, come to that. It's a little high. <laughs> she just decorated the cake. So that's the question. <laughs> we are going to cut now, right? <laughs> and uh, just we have to wait for 10 minutes. Then the cutting will be. <laughs> and, so priceless. Priceless. Actually, meaning of priceless is? You cannot give a value for it. The Kohinoor diamond is priceless. Yeah. Right? You, <laughs> you cannot. Value. There, there's no material there. Mother's love for the child. There's no price for that. Like, things like that. We use this common word. So, when we use the concept of don't be attached to the to your work, don't be attached to the fruits of your work, it simply means do it 
it for? Do it for Krishna. And this is taught, this concept is taught by Srila Rupa Goswami. Let's see who can. This verse, Anashakta Shya Vishayam. Fill in the blanks. Anashakta Shya Vishayam. Upayunjata. Nirmandha Krishna Sambandha. Yukta Vairagya. Uchyate. Yukta Vairagya. This unattachment actually. Our, our principle of uh, non attachment is Yukta Vairagya. On one hand, and one hand you have vaira, false vairagya, falgu vairagya. There is a falgu vairagya. You know what is falgu vairagya? No, that's different. Market vairagya, the false vairagya is even. Falgu river is your Gaya. Falgu, I've seen. I've been many years ago. I went to Gaya. There's falgu river out there, out there. But what exactly is falgu vairagya? So what is it? That's the translation, but what is it? Fal, fal, falgu Vairagya. Falgu Vairagya refers to there are all, this is actually specifically specifically it is applicable to the Mayavadi sannyasis. I heard one the story, yeah, please. That, no, that is a little different. That, monkey renunciation is something different. Falgu Vairagya is different. And that Markat Vairagya. And then, this Falgu Vairagya, I'll tell you how it works. Uh, this, this story I heard personally from my spiritual master. He was with Srila Prabhupada. And uh, there was one Mayavadi Sanyasi. This Mayavadi Sanyasi, he gave class. After the class, some people came and wanted to give donation. He immediately put his hand inside his chadar. <laughs> <laughs> That is Falgu Vairagya. No, I will not touch money. Money is the root of all evil. This is Maya out there. This, I know how the story works is that the disciple, the disciple of this Mayavadi spiritual master was telling this story very proudly to my spiritual master. Hmm? See, my guru is so Vairagi, so renounced. He gave a lecture and what I just now told. He withdrew. He withdrew his hands. <laughs> he will not touch money out there. And my spiritual master told him, you know, my spiritual master Srila Prabhupada, if you give him money, he can count faster than the bank teller. <laughs> and he grab more. <laughs> and do you know what he will do with that money? He'll build temple, he'll use it in Krishna's service. Not a cent for himself. He will see, this is wonderful, you can do so much wonderful service with this with this money, right? So this is the character. The, the Mayavadi is Falgu Vairagya, the Vaishnava is Yukta Vairagya. How to use everything in, in Krishna consciousness, in the spirit of Anashaktasya, without any personal ambition, right? We are, in other words, actually another point is Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada was extremely intelligent he all the good things of science he used but Prabhupada was very critical of some of the claims made by science the some of the some of the claims which were actually destroying human civilization when you say things like the universe originated in Big Bang Theory, no need for Krishna, no need for Bhagavatam, all these descriptions are all false, some godless, and then if you follow, human beings came from monkeys, human beings came from monkeys, if you start saying like things like there's no need for a divine creator, everything is just mechanical, there's no, there's no spirit, there's only material energy. So when science says this, those are all lies. These are lies. Right? Those are lies some scientists will tell. So that Prabhupada very strongly attacked. Very extremely. He used very strong words. Rascal. I kick with my boots. <laughs> the words like that. I'll kick with my boots. This Darwin. <laughs> because they are destroying. They're destroying. 
human progress towards God out there. But yes, some of the technology things. Prabhupada used the dictaphone machine. If Prabhupada did not use dictaphone machine, we would not have book marathon. He used to dictate in the dictaphone machine. Aircrafts. Prabhupada traveled in aircraft. Prabhupada himself said that uh, 500 years ago, how did Lord Chaitanya travel? Walk, walk, walk. And Prabhupada said, should I be a fool and imitate Lord Chaitanya in today's age? Walk from uh, Kidirpur docks in Kolkata to Boston <laughs> through, you know, where? To Mongolia or somewhere? How are you going? How are you going? <laughs> Russia or somewhere, just cross, hop across Alaska or something, you know, <laughs> and, and arrive in Boston. Should I be a fool? The Prabhupada used whatever, you know, technology was available, used it in the spirit of Yukta Vairagya. It is Krishna's, it is Krishna Sambandha. It is uh, connected with Krishna. It is in Krishna's service, I will use. So, Srila Prabhupada, the devotee, very positive person, extremely positive. He knows how to use the world. He knows how to appreciate the world, use it in Krishna's service. Whatever gifts are available, coming from any direction. Whatever direction the gift comes from, I will accept it, use it. If something is not connected with Krishna, that is Vairagya. Like why, why do we, why do we uh, make it a point to neglect the four sinful activities? What is the core reason? Core reason for avoiding the four sinful activities. Right? Because these are, these activities, what will they do to me? They were very unfavorable. I cannot use them. I cannot use them in Krishna's service. They are unfavorable, so I stay away from them. Anything that is favorable, I will use. That is, that is the spirit out here. That is what the spirit is. Working without attachment. Which is, we are so fortunate because these points are, Srila Prabhupada is explaining these points to us. Otherwise, if we, see, if, we, if we read and just read the trans, we may not understand the point. Therefore, without being attached to the fruits of activities. Now, I'll be wondering, being, you know, if, if I'm not attached to the fruits of activities, then where is my, where is my charm in working, you know? Right? I will end up like, you know, the Russia communist. Government takes away everything. Everything government takes away. And Srila Prabhupada himself says, no? who, who will have the motivation to work? I work everything. Nothing belongs to you. On the other hand, Russia, while Russia was going through this, America is flourishing. Everybody is motivated to work. It's mine. It's my... And Prabhupada, he... Uh, a very interesting statement he made. Proprietorship turns sand into gold. If you own something, and you know, you, you really have your heart in it. But in this principle, the devotee has a higher, you know, has the higher understanding that things belong to Krishna. Who is my source? Who is my source? And Krishna is so wonderful. He is not, he is not a stingy God. I give him and he'll keep everything and nothing for me. Right? This, this, this science is explained, this science is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam. Two examples are given. Example of stomach and example of the tree. What is the stomach example? The finger puts, put, and by the cycle, by the system cycle, where does the energy come back to? Back to, back to the finger, right? In a much more proper way. And same thing, you put water where? And where does the water finally reach? Including the roots. You understand? Everything is distributed properly. Hmm? Prabhupada says this is this is the principle behind spiritual communism. Hmm? This is the karma yoga and spiritual communism is connected out there. You work not for in a selfish manner, independent of Krishna, but work for the Supreme Lord and you you 
you, you get you get far more nourished than you would try to work just selflessly for you selfishly for your own self out there right so got these points so any any questions i i very much appreciate the discipline that the timing is also given out there everything works now the 610 is 610 quick one or two questions and then we can go to the announcements right there's nothing we can wind up 1 2 3 jai bhagavad gita as it is ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai